guys, welcome back to another episode of The Farming Chefs. It's been a very busy week. We've moved the sheep a few times. They're in the back orchard now. We are waiting for electricity to be hooked up from the grid. It's all being delayed. One of the people helping us with our irrigation systems is now sick, so hopefully we'll get that up in time. A lot of stressful things going on, but mostly one very joyous event this week, and that was the arrival of our chickens. So the chickens arrived in carton boxes. We had 15 laying hens come and 30 meat chickens, 30 broilers. The broilers are of the race colonudo, which means bare neck. So these are our broiler chicks. They're a few weeks old and they are still hardening off, as we call it. Philippe released them by just tipping the carton box on its side and letting them gently escape, after which it was quite the mayhem, as the birds seemed to be extremely hungry. They must have been in those boxes for quite a time, which isn't really great. We could tell that they were very dehydrated and very hungry, so they feasted on the water and food that we gave them, and then they settled down. These wooden frames are built for multi-purpose use. We use them in certain times of the year as these makeshift pens. Other times of the year we might use them to cultivate things in, put them on the floor, fill it with compost and grow something in there. They've been a great addition to our farm. We've had them for over 10 years and they are still in good state and used regularly. So this is a little trick I would definitely recommend using. And yeah, these birds look happy. It's nice and warm in here. They'll be going out to pasture in a few days, maybe a week or so. The laying hens are three different breeds. We've got the Sapphire Gem, the Juliana, and the Perdesh. These three breeds are dual purpose birds, meaning they are both good for egg production as well as meat. These birds are around 12 weeks old, so they were ready to go straight onto pasture. So what exactly are the benefits of having these layers on our farm? I don't know how well this translates onto camera, but I'm standing in front of this giant patch of chicken poo. This is left from where the coop was yesterday. The chickens defecated during nighttime. It dropped through the mesh, which is the bottom of the coop, and left these droppings here. And now the ladies are roaming around, pecking, looking for worms and any other kind of protein, any insects, and scratching at the floor. And the reason I'm showing you the poop first is because it weaves perfectly into explaining how our holistic context on this farm works. So let me explain. As a farmer, you have short-term gains and long-term gains, and it's always important to put your long-term gains first and have your short-term gains help you achieve your long-term gains. So what are our long-term gains? Well, I'm standing right now, or squatted right now, in front of our new orchard. And as you might know, if you've been watching our channel, we're going to be running different enterprises on our farm, all of them aiming to restore soil health, increase biodiversity, and just build an awesome and fertile farm that is going to profit not only us, but any future generations to come. These chickens provide us with three beneficial activities on our farm that help us to achieve our long-term goal. Firstly, they are putting their droppings on the soil increasing fertility by feeding the soil food web. Secondly, they are scratching at the surface of the soil, bringing up old seed and thereby repopulating the grasses and different species of grasses onto your pasture. And thirdly, they are providing you with high nutrient dense food in their eggs as well as finally in their meat. This is our mobile chicken coop. It is functional, it is light, it is mobile and it cost peanuts because it was made with repurposed materials. It even made its way from Italy to Portugal. So I'm actually very impressed that it's still standing. And it has a wonderful area here for the eggs to be laying so you can just easily access those. These ladies won't be laying for another month, month and a half. So unfortunately for us, no eggs yet, but we are patient. Let's go and have a look at the gate. So this is a new addition to the farm this week. This is our third entrance and it was not 
protected with a gate yet. So Philippe welded it and painted it and yesterday they installed it. And I'm very proud of them because I think it looks like it was made by a professional. <laughs> That's it guys, I'm gonna wrap this video up. We've got a lot going on next week. We're gonna be moving this greenhouse. We're gonna start the build of our permanent gardens. Hopefully we'll have water and electric somewhere next month. That's gonna be a whole adventure on its own. Keep following us and hit that subscribe button if you wanna keep up to date on this big food and farm adventure. Thank you for watching The Farming Chefs. Peace out.